hey guys uh, today i will describe you the program of image watermarking using discrete wavelet transform and similar value decomposition as you can see on your screen uh, this is a matlab program for the watermarking and i will explain you this program instruction by instruction so that uh, you don't have any problem problem in understanding this program in the second and third line i wrote the instructions here in close all these are the instruction used by the matlab to free up the memory uh, that it uses to run the programs and to store the uh, images or variables now in the fifth line i have declared a variable alpha as 0.75 and i give i have given a command this is an embedding strength what is an embedding strength this is the it defines the alpha defines the strength of the watermark in the given image and our given image is the camera man which i defined it in the sixth line as you can see for itself i i am read cameraman.tif this is an image which is which will be available to you internally in the matlab and now i will run this program so that you can see for yourself yeah this this is the image in which i'm going to insert what now in the 8th and 9th line i have applied the uh, discrete wavelet transform two times first on the image and second on the ll1 that is low frequency and low frequency horizontal and vertical component and now i'm going to insert the watermark in ll2 sub listen to this part very closely and i'm going to store the size of ll2 in my variable p which i have declared in the 10th line and i did this just because to just because in case if i want to find the psnr or ms now i'm going to apply the singular value decomposition on ll2 subband singular value decomposition is used to find the singular values of a particular matrix and ll2 is nothing but a matrix here same as at the 10th line i store the size of sy the singular matrix of ll2 which i find by using svd in the variable q in the 14th line now i'm going to go down in the 16th line in the 16 to basically 19th line i'm going to define my watermark here uh, i i pick an image watermark and uh, in the 18th line you find it just like odd it's because my image is a 3d image so i took the first part as in a 3d image there are three parts 1 2 3 so i took the first part only because i have to apply the singular value decomposition on my watermark image and singular value decomposition only works on the 2d images so i did that 18th line code that's why and now i'm going to remove the percentage sign this is it is like being commented and now i'm going to run this program again and you will see for itself this is my watermark which i'm going to insert in my cameraman image this is a basically a lena image and you will find this image in your what in your matlab internally you don't have to download it externally if you don't then you can download it easily now i'm going to go down now i applied here in 23rd line singular value decomposition on my watermark as you can see by applying the singular value decomposition i can generate the singular values for my watermark as well now here the main part comes embedding of the watermark how i'm going to embed the watermark in my camera man image basically you can see here that sy is my singular values for the camera man image and sw are the singular values for the watermark image and alpha is my embedding strength i will multiply the alpha by sw and add it to the sy and store this equation store this new values in the smr so these will be the smr these will be the new singular values for my cameraman image so this is how i'm going to embed the watermark 
so now i'm going to do just like rebuild the sub bands using singular validity in position for my ll2 because what i am modifying i am modifying the ll2 sub band here now i will apply just like inverse dwt to get watermark image here idwt i regenerate the uh, sub bands by applying inverse discrete wavelet transform and in the 35th line i will remove the percentage sign or decomment it so that you can see for yourself this is my figure 1 in which i was about to insert the watermark and this is my original watermark in figure 2 here and figure 3 this is my watermark image you can see the difference between this is the original image and this is the watermark image here so now So the next part is the extraction part. This is basically simple. What I'm going to do? This is a non-blind extraction. So I'm going to use my watermark image, which is I underscore one here. Here, as you can see here, I'm going to use this image, and I will apply the discrete wavelet transform on the two levels, like uh, on the image as well as on the LL one, so that I can generate the LL two. and then i um, i will again apply the singular validity composition on the ll2 wmv denotes the watermark component nothing else there is no need to confuse here and now this is the 41 line where this line comes from as you can see this is an equation i just modified it you can see here relate this line like with 27 line i find the sw this rec denotes the recovering values recover values singular values for the watermark because i am extracting the watermark so what do i do i extract the watermarks of this sw what do i do s mark minus sy upon alpha this will be equal to sw here this here So I just use this equation and did find my watermark, which I inserted from the watermark image. So I will remove this percentage sign or decomment it, and you can see for yourself as I run this program here. Uh, this is my extracted watermark. Same as here. this was my original watermark and this is my extracted watermark so i hope uh, this program will help you